Hey guys, so this video is part of yet another collaboration I'm doing with I wanted to see one video here on YouTube. For this collaboration, we actually decided to go for a gender bend Harley and gender bend Joker. I did the gender bend version of Harley Quinn, aka Harvey, and she did an amazing version of the gender bend Joker. I freaking love it so much. And also joining us in this collab, we have Zach Zanga who did Poison. Ivan and it's so freaking incredible. He actually looks kind of sexy. <laughs> if you remember from last week, I actually did the animated version of the Joker and Bethany did the animated version of Harley. So I will have all those videos down below as well as Zach's and Bethany's information. So where can you find them, their videos, all that information will be down below. So please make sure to go check them out. They are truly Truly amazing and incredibly talented. So please go check out their channels and give them lots of love. So there really isn't a lot to say about this look, except if you want to see how I did it, then all you gotta do is just keep on watching. I already did my hair off camera. I'm sorry that I did not show you guys, but this was a task. So I kind of wanted to be ready. If you want me to have like a thorough tutorial on how to easily fake your hair color by using paradise paints and airbrush or just like airbrush paints then just let me know and I will gladly make one but for now we're just gonna roll with it now I have no idea how I'm gonna do this look so I'm pretty much gonna be making a lot of things up it's like I know how Harley looks I know her colors I've seen a lot of reference pictures of like gender bent but it's like I still don't know exactly what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna be making a lot of things up right on the spot but one thing's for sure is I'm gonna use my Maybelline fit me foundation and I'm going to start applying this all over my face and basically just blending that out with a sponge. This foundation is actually like a few shades lighter than my natural skin tone, but that's okay, cause my face is gonna be pale AF anyways once I'm done with this look, so we're good. Also my skin tone is actually a little bit more yellow than uh, this foundation, but again, as I said, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take Mayron Paradise Paint in white, and I'm going to take Humber Rush. Let me see which one I can I find. And I'm just randomly gonna start sweeping this on my face. It's not gonna be perfect because they want Holly's makeup to look like he's um, been wearing it for a really long time and it's sort of been wearing off. So this is what I'm gonna do. Once I have the paint on, I'm just gonna take my fingers and sort of blend it out I'm taking that white paradise paint again and I'm just making some really funny faces and just applying the face paint on the wrinkles and with a sponge I'm just blotching the paint out and that's gonna leave a few wrinkle marks and it's gonna add to that grunge effect. Next I'm taking paradise paint in red and I'm going to start drawing and filling in a triangle and then taking my fingers dipped in a little bit of water and I'm just going to really F up this triangle as much as I can. I'm just taking my fingers and dragging the paint down my cheek to make it look almost like tear stains, almost like the triangle has been wearing off and just like dripping everywhere. And I'm doing the exact same thing on the other eye, but this time I'm using a black paradise paint. Sticking to the grunge effect, I decided to take a little bit of that black face paint and just pat it randomly on my face to add dirt and grime. Then I took my Nixus Oven Pop palette and now I'm using this chocolatey brown shade from that palette and I'm using that to contour my face to make myself look a little bit more slimmer. Um, I'm just contouring my nose, my cheekbones, you know, I really want that sort of like I've been pretty much fighting and awake for a couple of hours so I haven't been able to sleep very well and eat. And now I'm taking my Skin Illustrator Effects palette and I'm using the black activated with a little bit of 99% alcohol and a stipple sponge to create a fake stubble. So you just want to stipple it along your jawline, the stash area, and the chin. Taking my Nixus Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, I'm just messily applying this on my waterline and the tight line of my eyes. And with my fingers, I'm just really messing this up to add more to the... I've been wearing this makeup and I've been just crying it off and it's been smudging everywhere. And to add more to that effect, I'm just taking a little bit of white face paint with a lot of water and dripping it down my neck. Obviously, we can't be Harley with a Harley-like grin. So for that, I'm taking Paradise Paint in black and adding this to my lips and really smudging that out, as well as add some red and doing the exact same thing by smudging it. And I wanted the lip to look mostly stained rather than they are actually wearing any makeup. So I just decided to pat it down with some of my foundation, but I still wanted some of the grin to be there. So I just took Black Paradise Paint and did the flicks in the outer corners. 
I'm taking a little bit of that black face paint and the stipple sponge and just stippling it around my face to add more dirt and grime. And now I'm starting on the body. So I'm just filling in the color using white paradise paint. And I had to do like two or three layers of this because it was just not as opaque as I wanted it to be. And then I'm taking black paradise paint and filling in the belt and one side of the vest. And I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side but this time I'm using red paradise paint by Mayron. I'm using the red paradise paint to line the side that's black on the vest as well as the belt and I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side but this time I'm using black. Keep in mind that this look is basically all the exact same steps for both sides only that the colors switch. Then I'm taking that black body paint and I'm going to start drawing four diamonds on the red side of the vest, one on top, one on bottom, and one on each side. And then I'm taking my Nixus Primal eyeshadow in hot black and I'm going to start shading the vest. So I'm casting the shadow that will be cast by the color on the vest and I'm first laying down the color and then taking a fluffy brush and just blending that color outwards to soften the line and make it look like an actual shadow. Now the reason for shading is to make things stand out and look as three-dimensional as possible so I just want to make the lining in the vest stand out as well as the belt so I want to make the belt look like it's actually on top of the vest so that's why we add shadows to those areas to enhance them and make them look more three-dimensional. And now we're going to start creating highlights so I'm just taking white paradise paint and I'm creating a highlight on each of the edges of the lining and then I'm taking the brush I used to apply the black and I'm just softening those lines a little bit to make them look not as stark. And then I'm doing the exact same thing all over the edges of the vest and at the same time the belt. So I'm just applying the line, taking the brush with a previous color and softening down the line to make it look more like an actual highlight rather than just a stark white line. Obviously because this side of the vest is black we can't really create any shadows so we're gonna do the complete opposite and create a highlight. So I'm just taking a little bit of white paradise paint and creating a highlight a centimeter away from the actual color to create the illusion that the color is casting a shadow on the vest. And then I'm taking black paradise paint and softening down that line a little bit to make it look like an actual shadow. Now I'm going to take two brown eyeshadows and I'm going to start creating all the shadows that will be casted by the cloth on my skin. So I'm first taking a light brown eyeshadow and I'm going to lay that down first before I take a darker brown and I lay it on top of the light brown to darken up the shadow a little bit more. Now I'm keeping the light brown eyeshadow a little bit further away from where the cloth would pull away from the skin and the dark brown eyeshadow where the cloth sort of meets the skin and it's closer. Then I'm taking a gray eyeshadow and I'm going to start shading the folds of the color and I wanted this look to look a little bit more punk rock or like more gothic so I decided to add a color by taking black paradise paint and drawing a line on my neck and then highlighting and shading as I would normally. I'm going to take the white paradise paint and draw a highlight on the edges of the color and then I'm going to take black and red face paint and I'm going to start drawing a clover, a heart, a diamond and a spade on each of the ends of the color. Now I am aware that Harley's costume does not actually have this but I wanted to have a little bit of fun with this body paint so I decided to take Graftobian's gold metallic powder and mix it with the mixing medium to have a paint and I decided to create a bell on each of the ends of the color and then I'm taking Mayron's silver metallic powder and I'm mixing that with a mixing medium and I'm creating the belt buckle and some spikes cause I don't know I wanted this to look more punk rock plus I love working with metallic colors and then I'm taking black eyeshadow and shading the belt buckle and each of the spikes. You know how bells have those little lines where the noise comes out of there? Yeah, I'm taking black paradise paint and I'm doing those little lines and then taking a white paradise paint and I'm highlighting either side of those lines. And then I moved on to highlighting other areas such as a choker and the color a little bit more. I'm taking whatever was left on the brush and I'm patting it and sweeping it on the color to make it dirty because we obviously can't be looking like we use Clorox up in here. Taking some red paradise paint, smudging it in the color to make it look like dried up blood. And I am contouring a chest and a little bit of abs because my abs and my chest are not very pronounced yet so I need to contour that heavily. And I really won't be explaining what I'm doing in this part because it's all very repetitive. It's all the exact same steps that I use on the vest. I loaded up my airbrush using white paradise paint by Mayron and I highlighted the tops of the vest to make it look a lot more three-dimensional and to make it stand out as much as possible and look more realistic. Then I took red paradise paint and I added a red streak on my hair and that's basically it.
So I really hope that you all enjoyed this makeup tutorial and if you did, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you want to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, the links will be down below as well as the list of products I used in this video. So I really hope to see you next time and bye!